Coming to you live from the Traders Expo in Las Vegas, I'm joined by Linda Rashke, 34 years trading, professional trading, trading her own money. Thank you so much for joining us, Linda. You're welcome, Matt. All right, so, you know, a lot of traders out there are struggling right now. I mean, I think they're always struggling because maybe they overthink it too much. What's the biggest thing holding back traders right now, in your opinion, Linda? Trading is a performance-oriented discipline. In other words, it's just nothing more than being a professional athlete. And I think the first thing is concentration levels. So a lot of people need to work on improving their concentration levels and eliminating distractions. And the challenging thing is, on one hand, you want to gain education and learn what works and see what other people are doing. That's fine when you're in the education mode. It's just like going to a university and getting your PhD in something. You're studying and you're seeing what other people are doing. But once you become a professional and you truly want to make it on your own, you need to think for yourself, do your own game plan, do your own analysis. And the awkwardness is that on one hand, the internet has brought us so many luxuries with the uh, execution speeds and um, lovely software platforms. But on the other hand, it's like Pandora's box. Um, I see people looking at blogs, looking at Twitter, looking at other people's analysis, being in chat rooms, what does so-and-so think, listening to the TV. I do not know of one successful professional trader making a serious living who's concerned with what other people are saying and doing. So it's okay to follow these people in the beginning when you want to see and get ideas for doing your own research and analysis. You cannot be a professional trader or a successful trader until you can see things for yourself and pull the trigger for yourself and not worry about what other people are thinking or are they right or are they wrong. And I, I think you make a great point. It sounds easy to do that, but it's so tough because we're wired as human beings to feel more comfortable doing something that everybody else is doing by following the crowd. So what you're saying basically is when if the the TV says everybody's doing it because of this, that doesn't matter, it's irrelevant. You have a strategy, you stick to it, and you do your own thing, regardless of what everybody else around you is doing. Is that correct? You're absolutely right. You hit the nail on the head. It's like the school of behavioral finance. You feel comfortable with the crowd, and trading is not necessarily a comfortable thing. And it's, it's difficult to go into those spots where the risk-reward is the best, but it's like jumping off of a high dive board. There's a little bit of, you know, uncertainty there. I will tell you this. Yeah. As a kid, I never jumped off the high dive. I'd walk right back down that, that, that uh, ladder every darn time. 39 years old, I still don't jump off it. But if you're ready to jump into the stock market, Linda Rashi, thank you so much. Zig when everybody else is zagging. That's the way you put it. You're thank welcome. You. <laughs>